Galaxies were once regarded as island universes, isolated realms of gas, dust, and billions of stars that were separated by distances unimaginably vast. But no galaxy is an island. In fact, galaxies prefer company. In his book, Pale Blue Dot, astrophysicist and writer Carl Sagan opens chapter 22, titled, Tiptoeing Through the Milky Way, with another oath from the Quran, verses 75 and 76, chapter 56. I swear by the shelters of the stars a mighty oath, if you but knew it. Shelters of the stars, according to Sagan, or sights of the stars in other translations, would make one wonder. Those descriptions of the gatherings of the stars in the cosmic structure, aren't they most fitting to what cosmologists identify today as the star clusters and star superclusters? One would further ponder Aren't these clusters exactly the knots and nodes referred to in every description of the cosmic web? As astronomers map nearby galaxy clusters, a clearer picture of cosmic structure emerged. Galaxy clusters gathered in superclusters, overlapping other superclusters to form chains and filaments spanning huge swaths of the sky. Welcome to the Cosmic Whip. By the heaven, streaked with fabric, interwoven threads. 